War is basically an intense armed conflict between different societies, governments, or states trying to dominate each other through physical and psychological violence. They commit atrocities and uh, they try to dominate each other's ideologies, but for that they use physical and psychological violence. There is no morality in a war and everyone is treated just the same, everyone is slaughtered just the same. There is no compassion, no humanity left in war, there is no generosity and everything is just so bleak and gloomy about war. So there are many different reasons why we as humans have waged war across human history. Uh, first, as hunter-gatherers, we fought for our survival and we fought for everything that felt like a threat to us. Then we became more civilized. We started learning languages. We started uh, communicating more. We started making groups and started living together. We started believing in new things, in new ideas. We started having faith. We started believing in God. And then we started fighting for them too. Then we started building economies. We started building nations. We started expanding our territories. And we started fighting for them too. You see, it's just us against us, spilling our own blood. And there was no one else we were fighting. It was just ourselves. The reward of this victory is the oppression and cruelty against the weak and lower section of the people, of the society, the animals, the humans, these, do, 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 those who do, doesn't participate in war, those are the people that get most oppressed in this war. And everything, you see, everything is just justified under the consequences of war, in this broad label, consequences of war. Like, these things happen, it's just a war, people will die, animals will get killed, buildings will get lost, Really get demolished. It's like these things will happen and will keep on happening, and it's just war, and everything is just justified in this broad label of consequences of war. Now, what is this? What is these consequences of war that I'm talking about? It is the loss of financial and economic power of a country. The GDP falls down drastically. It is the cultural heritage that, that is damaged, like uh, buildings, like temples, churches, and mosques, which represent the cultures of a society. It gets damaged too. And the environment gets damaged so much. Like, if another world war happens, like, there won't be anyone left to celebrate. And even if people survive, we would have damaged the earth so much, uh, it won't be able to sustain itself. So, but these are just the material aspect of it, you know. Like, we can build the buildings again, we can build temples and churches and mosques again and again. In 50 years, in 100 years, we can bring back the economy again. But what we cannot bring back is the life that is lost in these wars. Life which had meaning and hope just like ours. Now, after listening to all this, I have a question for the audience. Yeah, you can make some noise. Do you still agree and do you still believe that there is hope for us in the future? Yes. 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 <laughs> for me, I do also believe like, that yeah, there is hope for us, hope in the form of us, like yeah. We can make the change we want to see in the world. We can make a society when everyone is cared and respected for and no one is looked down upon because of any difference. We won't discriminate because of race, color, caste, gender, and everyone will be treated equally, be it animals or humans. There will be compassion for everyone. We are the change, we are the youngsters, we are the new generation of the society, and we will make a world where everyone is equal. We will choose alternatives to war like conferences and conciliation where like countries sit, countries can sit together and we can talk about uh, to re uh, resolve an issue, we can talk about it and to come on an agreement and we'll choose what alternatives of war, we'll choose, we'll have to choose over war or peace and we'll choose peace, you and me, we have to do it, you know, we'll, cho we'll have to choose as humans. Disaster, you see, disaster provides us with both sorrow and hope equally. And we as humans, we have fundamental freedom. One that no one can take from us. Freedom to choose, to choose hope when everything else is lost. To choose bravery and decency, even when we have nothing left to give. Thank you.